3D Sushi Let's Roll Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you a really cute little simple sushi design that says let's roll and it's very cartoony and fun and colorful so I hope you guys like this as much as I do and I'm using a whole bunch of colors from the new Madame Glam perfect collection that they just released that is for their five year anniversary it's got all the perfect colors like perfect green perfect blue perfect purple etc so it's got just like your classic iconic colors which is a great thing a great base to have in anybody's collection so definitely check that out i do have a discount code in the description box below so check that and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so I'm going to start with an overlay of clear acrylic. So this design, like I said, I did a lot of painting with it. So instead of doing a base color with acrylic and then encasing it with clear like I would normally, I'm going to use all gel polish on top of it, which is always an option and kind of the way that you usually actually see done in salons anyway. So now I'm going to be filing this into shape with my e-file. I started out with a fairly coarse bit and then went to a really fine bit just to kind of smooth it out and get it all perfect. And now I'm going to begin with a base coat of perfect pink. And this color is not like a bright pink or anything, but it's kind of like, I don't know, I think it's like my grandmother. It's my grandmother's shade of pink. Um, but then I'm going to take perfect orange and just randomly dab some of that color all over the nail. Then with a sponge, I'm just going to go over it. It's a dry sponge and just kind of blend that color out. So it's sort of a mottled pink orange. Then I decided it was too much orange. So I took more of that perfect pink, dabbed that back around, and then went back through with my sponge. None of this has been cured. Well, the first layer pink, but the orange hadn't been cured when I went back through with the pink. And then after that is cured, I'm going to take perfect white and just kind of do little streaks of white through and then blend it out on one side. So this is creating kind of like your raw salmon sort of appearance on here. So it's got the little uh, veins of the fat going through the meat. So just that, so it has kind of that sushi fish look. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of perfect red, not a lot, but just a couple streaks. So I've got a fairly dry brush and I dabbed it into the perfect red and then I brushed it off so it wasn't too much of it. And then just kind of streak through that just a little bit, not, don't overdo the red. It just brings you a little bit more depth into your fish design. Now I'm going to be with black paint writing let's roll right in the upper half of the nail. So I didn't, usually when I do stuff I do the painting after I've placed the 3D art because I want to make sure that the 3D art and the painting is all balanced out and it's a lot of times easier for me to do it the 3D first and then the painting. But with this one because I did the 3D work entirely on a separate thing and then glued it on, it's not nearly as particular so you can do all of your painting and then top coat it and then just leave this part done and come back to it. So I have let's in the top section of the nail and then roll. For the let's I did an all capital letter font that's kind of long and narrow. And for the roll I did a pretty simple little cursive font for that. I always like to kind of mix it up and do two kinds of fonts. It, I think it makes the design and the writing a little bit more interesting unless like it's just being doodled on. I think it looks a little bit more a little more interesting for the eye. After you have that written on there, apply a layer of gel sealer, gel top coat, whatever you prefer. Cure it, and now I'm going to be making my little sushi roll on a nail form backing, and this is done just with white acrylic. Same thing, all of the color I did with the Madame Glam gel polish. So just make a little cylinder shape on a nail form backing with a couple beads of white. Keep pressing it from side to side until it sets up. And the Madame Glam gel polish collection, um, or Madame Glam's gels, are now nine free. So they used to always say that they were six free, which means that they're all of those classic chemicals that you think of that are terrible in nail polish. The first one that always comes to everybody's mind is formaldehyde, which if you actually do research isn't that big a deal in nail polish because it's liquid formaldehyde, not gas. But anyways, um, it's nine free instead of six free. Their gels are also vegan. And they're, in other words, they're, that's really great. Um, they're cruelty free, they're vegan, they're nine free. And all of that stuff is just a great thing to have on hand, especially if you can tell clients that they're all of these things. I know that in certain, especially in certain areas, having vegan products is really a big deal to clients. So that's something that I always look for. And it's a kind of a bigger deal to me too. So anyways, after I have that, I glued my little sushi roll onto the nail and then I'm going to grab and I mixed some perfect green and perfect black together, not completely solid. So it's streaky. And I applied that for the seaweed around the outside of the roll. Then making the sushi rice, I just did little dabs of the perfect white on top of the roll, cured it again. Then with a swirled combination of the yellow and the orange, I had three little circles in the center. Then with perfect green on its own, I added little dashes between those three little pearls in the middle of the sushi. Now I'm going to be applying some matte gel top coat over the top of the entire thing and curing it. 
And I'm going to cut two pieces of wire off and I'm going to make sure that they're really nice and straight. And then I'm going to make some chopsticks out of that. So I painted each of them red and I'm holding onto them with a pinching tool. This is pretty much all I use my pinching tool for is to use stuff to hold onto things. After the red is cured, then I'm going to take and paint just the very end of it black. After that's cured, I'm going to take some gel sealer and paint over the whole thing. Then cut off the end that you are using to hold on to. So you don't paint the entire thing, but just cut off that little part that is unpainted. Then glue your chopsticks onto your little sushi roll, just like so. So it looks like they are all ready and plan to pick up that and take a big bite. And that is it. I think this design is adorable. I absolutely love how the background is sushi-like as well. And then I do have a quick Melody Minutes of Melody having way too much fun with a gift box filled with penny. Wow. Having fun. Oh, that's the best <laughs> noise maker ever. And here's a couple pictures from the 4th of July, my birthday, of Terrell being himself and just a couple of me, me and Melody too having some fun and just her and her cute little patriotic dress. This dress fits her so well. It was so cute. I had to take a lot of pictures of her. I couldn't help myself. Her walking in her cute little flower sandals too. So I hope you guys liked this design and um, check out all those Madame Glam colors from the Perfect Collection. I'll put links and everything in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!